Hey y'all, Barry Thrift Machine back at you. What we're doing today is going to talk about a little bit about how I figured out the difference between a flat rate box and a just a regular priority box. Again, a lot of stuff I'm going to go over is going to be very elementary, like, wow, I can't believe that you tie your shoes in the morning. Um, but I just didn't know about any of this stuff. So I'll tell you, show you exactly what I'm talking about. I'm sure everybody knows this. Um, but I didn't because I didn't have never shipped anything probably in my life before reselling four or five months ago. So what I'll do is, is on different boxes actually on the priority obviously. Like this one right here says a small flat rate, there's a medium flat rate, and there's a whole bunch of other sizes that are flat rate boxes. And then you have other ones like this. This is one of my favorite boxes to use. It just says priority mail and that's all it says on no flat rate. Well. The big difference is obviously, and it's pretty self-explanatory, one, you can put a certain amount of weight in and it ships for a certain poundage at a certain rate, hence the word flat rate. And the other ones um, are just priority boxes they get for free off the, the Postal Service website. The thing is, is I didn't know, and maybe this will help somebody else out, make sure what boxes you use when you put boxes together to ship something, like a Franken box. Um, is not flat rate boxes. Again, I know that's super easy and people are like, yeah, I wouldn't even do that or think of that because it doesn't sound right. This came into basically where when I first started out, I sold a tennis racket. We said put two, two of these boxes together, ship it out. So that's what I did. Well, little did I know that I put two priority flat rate boxes together, put them together, did the whole dimensions, calculated, did all that, did it dropped it off like three days later I noticed and you know in the beginning I was checking the deliveries I was checking everything like every five seconds I was making sure things were going out properly so I had like one or two sales a day so I noticed that there was nothing you know this thing was just sitting there then I got a handwritten note from my mail lady I don't have a mailbox I live in a subdivision so in my ba my box at the top you know at the front of the community and it said hey, go to the post office this is incorrect it was so incorrect that they I guess they wouldn't even send it um, so I went down there and she said you owe us $23 maybe and I already paid maybe $10 in shipping and I asked why and she wasn't the nicest person in the world, but then again, you know, it was definitely my fault. I should have just known. But um, basically, I put two flat rate boxes together. Each flat rate box cost, I think, like, I don't know, 14 or $18. I forget what it was. And I only paid $10, so I owed the difference. And I was like, well, I'm not going to pay that because the, the weight was under, like, the weight was only like a pound and a half or something. Um, so, long story short, basically, I came home re-put everything inside another box, went down there and shipped it in just a Franken box priority without the flat rate on it and it worked out fine. So again, a little tip on what not to do, just, again, I know this sounds crazy, like nobody would ever put two flat rate boxes together and try to go send them, I did. And uh, so just make sure that you know the difference there between a flat rate box and a non-flat rate box and which boxes that you can use to put together. I didn't know you could put two flat rate boxes together when I was beginning. I do now and I haven't done it since. So, um, But other than that, uh, that's going to be it for today and I'll catch you all in the next